guys, welcome back to R&D Garage. Today, we're gonna do an oil change on one of my favorite rides ever. It's a 1969 Ford F-250 Camper Special that my grandfather gave to me right before he passed away. My grandpa was a big car guy. He knew I was a big car chick, so I got lucky. When he gave the truck to me, it only had 8,000 miles on it. Yes, you heard correct. My grandmother used to use it for her rotary sales and garage sales and what have you. And everything in the truck was still so new that shame on her, my grandma never used her seatbelt. You know how we knew that? The plastic was still on. Crazy. So now the truck has about 22,000 miles on it. I tend to drive it a little bit sparingly because I would just die if anything happened to it. But as you can see, it has obviously been kept in a climate controlled warehouse. This beautiful color is called Lunar Green and she's in top shape. So let's get started with the oil change. Um, cameraman, come over here. I'm gonna show you what we need to get started. Okay, so some things we need for the oil change today involve a 7 8 open end wrench, combination wrench, a ratchet with a 7 8 inch socket, a pair of oil filter pliers, obviously the drain pan. Um, we also need an oil funnel. Of course, the brand new filter, oil, a light so you can see underneath the truck, a creeper, and I realize some of you won't need this, but I'm short, I need a step stool. Maybe you do too. <laughs> okay, let's get started. As you can see, everything is still so original. It's the original light bulb. You just can't get this these days. It's crazy. Okay. First step, we're gonna jack up the truck. Okay guys, first thing we're gonna do is take off the drain plug. Now, I'm gonna use my ratchet and I'm really only going to break the bolt loose a little bit because if I took it out completely, I'd be covered in oil. So we're gonna stop after I loosen it, um, go to a different view and I'm gonna put an oil pan underneath to catch all of it. And the drain plug is right there. Okay, and it's getting loose, so I'm gonna go ahead and scoot out of here, and when we come back, I'll have the oil pan in place. Before I take the drain bolt off completely, I'm going to put my Forma funnel in place. Now this is just kind of a piece of plastic or silicone, and it's got some bendable sheet metal in it. And when I put this by the where the bolt is gonna come off, it'll keep most of the oil from splashing onto the cross member. It'll just be a lot cleaner drain, making sure most of the oil goes into the pan rather than all over. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's put our Forma funnel into place. So we're gonna insert it past the drain plug, and then try to get the lip right behind here so the oil will spill right into the pan and not on the floor so that looks like it should work okay let's go ahead and take the bolt off the rest of the way and keep our fingers crossed i've got my form of funnel in place and i've also inserted my magnetic tool right here so oops i'm gonna <laughs> keep unscrewing the drain bolt and then I'm gonna pull it off with this and the cameraman has warned me that this may make for a pretty funny b-roll instead of the actual take so you'll know if you'll see which one it became <laughs> okay let's go come on drain and you'll notice I put on a pair of uh, safety goggles because I didn't want oil in my eye so, we're just about ready. Okay guys, here we go. <laughs> come on, come on. Hey, look at that. That looks awesome. Oh, and one thing you don't want to do 
is get, you know, your magnetic tool stuck on everything, but this is great. So I'm actually gonna not lay that against there because it'll spill. <laughs> but this is perfect. I love it when things work like they should. Okay, we're gonna let this drain and when we come back, we'll be ready to pour the new oil and do all that other fun stuff. So the oil had slowed to a drip, so I removed the form of funnel and placed it in the drain pan. And what I'm gonna do now is wipe off where the drain bolt is gonna go back on and put the bolt back on. There we go. Okay. There. And so I'm gonna put it on until it's finger tight and then I'll hit it with the ratchet. Okay, for, we're gonna go ahead and cinch the oil drain bolt back into place. Um, you don't wanna just go ahead and crank it to the tightest of your ability. Um, just make sure it's, it's fairly tight. Okay. Okay, and that seems fairly tight. So we're gonna go ahead, change camera angles, and take care of the rest of the oil. Now we're gonna remove the oil filter. Before we do that, be sure and move the drain pan so that it's actually under where the oil filter is going to be coming off because there will be oil in there. Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna scoot up my uh, step stool here. So now we've got our oil filter tool. So basically, you want to grab the end of the filter with it and twist. And now it seems to be loose. I'm going to put my tool aside and reach. There we go. There we are. Okay, and I'm going to let that drain. I don't know if you can see it, but yes, it is draining. And you can definitely hear it. There we go, now you can see it. Okay. And now we're gonna set this aside and go on to the next steps. Okay, now we're ready to replace the old filter with the new one. Right when you take the new filter out of the box, you're going to want to fill it with a little bit of oil. Um, after you do that, put some oil in the top so you can take your finger and moisten the gasket just a little bit. That way it'll form a better seal when you put the filter on. Okay, now that's what we're gonna do. Um, since I'm short, I've got my step stool and I'm going to disappear halfway into the, the engine compartment here, so don't be alarmed. <laughs> okay. So it should catch onto the screw fairly easily. And you'll feel it when it does. It's, there's no mistaking it. So go ahead and put it on till it's tight. And once it feels super tight, you can turn it just another half turn. There we go, and it's on. This is great. Now we're ready for the next step. Now we're ready to remove the oil filler cap and pour in the fresh oil. Now the oil filler cap is right here. We're going to go ahead and remove that. Okay, and let's go ahead and wipe any of the old oil residue, anything like that, away from it. Go ahead and put in our funnel. Make sure that's in firm. Okay, and now we're ready to pour in the oil. And this guy takes about six quarts.
<laughs> that sound makes me laugh. <laughs> Dipstick. And you always want to wipe it off first and stick it back in right away because whatever you pull out will not be accurate. Okay. And yeah, it is a little past full. So this is great. It looks like we don't need to add any more. check for leaks. You'll want to check the drain plug and the oil filter to see if there's any puddles underneath your car or somewhere around that specific area in the engine bay. Now if you don't see any leaks, that's great. Go ahead and start up your car. Now the truck has an oil pressure gauge which is great because while the truck is running we can see if the needle moves. If yours doesn't, don't worry about it. Just go ahead and recheck for leaks again at the drain plug and at the oil filter. After that, you can go ahead and shut off your car and check your dipstick, which is what we're going to do. Go ahead and wipe it off first. And there we go. And now it says exactly at full. So this is great. The reason why it said over full before was because the oil filter at that time was not full of oil. Awesome. Okay, now that we're done with this, we're gonna take a moment, make sure all your tools are gone from the engine bay. There's no drain, you know, drain pan underneath. You don't wanna run over anything or back over anything. So, looks like we get a, did a good job of clearing things out. Perfect. So, this is not the only oil change I'm gonna do. Um, I have plenty of modern cars to work on as well, so stay tuned for those. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching R&D Garage. Please remember to like my videos, subscribe, and have a great day.